hello hello and we are back with a new one and this one that we're going to see here it's going to be the guide room no to steal but we're going to check the extent the extent by itself it's just technically the opposite of what the cut does but it has a drawing mode which is the really nice thing of the extent so if you look at the points just as the points and you select the first point here you can see how the points are going to be even evenly distributed but they're going to follow the drawing that we are doing so the extent is going to pick a guide and it's going to follow the movement the same as the effect that we had on the other brush on the cut it's ha or it happens at the border if you don't have a proper fall off if you have a fall off like this let completely ignore this it will not happen at the border and no matter if you do it like this you will only select one single curve from the bunch because what you're doing is to just select from the center and the whole effect is going to exist too so bear in mind what does it does it just follows the trail of the movement that you make here and you can see how it follows the red line and if you lose all the information of your CVs you will just lose all the information but remember that the guide room keeps track of the cache of the stroke so that's how it works and creates these effects if you have a sharp round or round kind of object it's really nice to create kind of uh, curls so it can be really useful for these kind of shapes where you have that you can see them there but one of the important things to have in mind is that it follows the projection of the camera so it will be 90 degrees from the camera most of the time and it will be on the ones that you have selected but also it's going to select some of the ones that are behind so you need to play with the uh, ray bias depending of which type do you want to select another thing to bear in mind is that the guides have a normal right so let me just go to polyframe to add a normal to my guides so if I see my guides here let me try to come here and no, I need to add this afterwards. So you can see here that my guides have a normal. So this is the normal of the points. And if I use my extend, the normal follows accordingly to the movement. So let me try to figure out on this slide mess. So you can see there how the normals rotate you can see that so the normals rotate with the camera and with the movement so the normals with the extent and with the length change so that's another thing to bear in mind if you're doing something really complex that it depend on the normals of the curves when you're grooming this will not be just extending the curve it will also change the values of the normals across the point so it's good to bear that in mind if you want you will have to transfer the attributes from before to after if you need a more controlled normal or if you would need even parameterization of the normal or even normals towards one direction you should bear in mind the position of the guide room this is normally not something that is going to affect you when you're grooming but if you're doing some other fancy effect like extruding the curves or having some different effects on them this may affect you because the extent does have a different effect on that if we don't care about this it should be completely fine because they are just guides and also if we increase the number of segments to something like 40 and we go inside remember that we need to recache our strokes because we do have the curve that has 40 incoming here but the strokes are cached so we don't have it visible 
So every time that you do an adjustment on the network above, you need to adjust the network below if you are using the guide room. So that's something to always bear in mind there. If you have something like this, you can see that the effect starts to get really nice, but also you can see the parameterization or, or not the parameterization, the even spacing that will be uh, affected by the point where you gather your curves and where the effect applies. And this is going to be even from the camera. So that's something that is good to bear in mind. This is a really, really powerful brush. If you need to follow some shape, let's see, let's say that you're tracking some groom, then you just put the curves and then you follow and follow and follow. But just bear in mind that they will always stick to the same projection of your camera. So that's it for the extend brush. And now we have really fancy and weird effects on our groom. Thank you for following and see you in the next one.